Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and greetings to my honorable lecturer Dr. Ismail and my fellow friends. Today I want to show you a, a video on how to install Fedora into my virtual box. In my virtual box, I have already installed Fedora 27. Now I want to install Fedora 26. Click on new and name this uh, virtual machine as Fedora 26. Then click next. For memory size, uh, type 2000 MB and click next. Create a virtual hard disk now and create. For hard disk file type, choose VHD and click next. For this one, choose dynamically allocated. Don't change anything. For file location and size, I'll choose 20 gigabytes and create. Okay, now we have done uh, creating Fedora 26, but we haven't installed the Fedora yet into this virtual uh, box. So, uh, but first we need to set the to advance and change both of this point to bi bi directional. For description, uh, leave it and this encryption leave it. Go to storage, click empty and choose virtual optical disk file and choose your IS this image Fedora 26 and click open. Then OK. So as you can see, the IDE secondary master from MT have changed to Fedora Workstation Live 26. Next, uh, I will press start. Start to uh, install Fedora 26 into the virtual software. Okay, choose start Fedora Workstation Live 26 and must use a keyboard. Now we have entered the Fedora Live. Uh, choose install to hard drive. Then wait for language. Okay, this one. Uh, choose English. In, uh, US English. And click continue. Next, go to keyboard. And don't change anything here because our keyboard is already English. Next, go to time and date. Also, the software already automatically set, uh, detect that uh, we are in Asia. And next, go, click installation destination. Now here, the software already show that we our space is 20 gigabyte. Now, now for storage configuration, click on custom. Then click done. Manual partitioning will appear. Click here to create them automatically. Now for uh, boot. Oh no, change to for Fedora root, change to 12 gigabyte. Oops, cancel. For device type, change from LVM to standard partition and click update settings for boot also change device type to standard partition the same also happen to swap from LVM change to standard partition and update settings when uh, when everything is uh, updated click done Summary of changes will appear. Click accept changes button. Now uh, we have already set everything. Then we can begin the installation. Okay, in this configuration, while the software is installing, we can set the root password. So for the root password, 
uh, I will put I will type in my uh, metric number as shown then click done next uh, we will create user I will type in my full name for username I will make it as umu123456 and make this user as administrator for password I will use the same password as the previous root user that I made just now then click done Okay, now the root password is set and the administrator. I want to change my username because I accidentally typed in D. So you can go back and cl uh, click on create user. So I delete the D. You can, even though you uh, misspell your name, you can all while the software is installing, you can always go back uh, to the user, create, create user and change uh, and correct the spelling error. The installation has already reached 100%. Uh, we will have to wait for a bit and this will take time. Now the installation is complete. Click on quit. Click on the quit button. After that, uh, we will go into the Fedora live media. Now what we are going to do is click on the upper right the power off button now we are going to restart uh, this fedora so before that we have to remove the fedora from our drive so untick the fedora workstation live and click on force unmount then you are ready to start but make sure the fedora workstation is not attached to the hard drive so then you can restart click on restart button now when this happens you have to go to file uh, sorry click on go to machine and reset the fedora so just click on reset and you can see that the Fedora is rebooting. When this happens, uh, we will have to wait. Even though it says error and fail, but actually it's still it's working. Now we have entered the Fedora login system. As you can see, my name appear. Then click on this Umu Baraka. Then you will have to log in. Type key in your password that you make just now, which is my metric number. Then click on sign in. This the error is, is still there, but uh, the error word is still there, but actually it's still working. Uh, uh, you can see we are already back to the Fedora Live Media. Now we will just have to wait for the language. Set English as your language, then click next. This one also our English US next privacy also no problem next online account uh, just keep this part then finally uh, Fedora says that you are ready to go then click on start using Fedora so the this this desktop is ready to use and as you can see there are application and software that is already installed in this Fedora 
Finally, I'm going to show you how to power off or shut down this Fedora. Click on the power off button. Click. Click power off. And you will be shown a black screen. Now the Fedora has successfully shut down. Uh, from the virtual box, we can see that the Fedora 26 has already powered off. Uh, anytime if you want to use Fedora uh, desktop, uh, you can always click start to go back in. So you have to uh, go back to the username and uh, key in your password. In conclusion, uh, I have successfully installed Fedora 26 in my virtual box. Uh, that's all for my video. Thank you for watching. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.